भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा Today we are reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto Seven, Chapter Thirteen, Text Number Thirty-Eight, through till Forty. <coughs> we have Kwachi Talpam Kwachi Bhuri, Bhunjen Nam Swadu Aswaduva. क्वचि भूरी गुणोपेत गुणाहीन उत क्वचि श्रद्धा पहरीत क्वापी कदाचिन्मावर्जित भुंजे भुक्त था कस्मचि Divanakta, very little. Quachit, sometimes. Bhuri, very great quantity. Bunje, I eat. Anam, food. Swadu, palatable. Aswadu, stale. Va, either. Quachit, sometimes. Mm. Bhuri, Bhuri, great, great. Guna upetam, a nice flavor, flavor. Guna hinam, <coughs> without flavor, without Uta, Uta. Weather. weather, Kwachit, Uta. sometimes, Uta. Shraddhaya, Uta. respectfully, Uta. Upaharitam, Uta. brought by someone, Uta. Kwapi, Uta. sometimes, Uta. कदाचित समटाइम्स मानावर्जितम ऑफर्ड विदाउट रिस्पेक्ट बुंजे आई इट भोक्तवा आफ्टर इटिंग आथा एस सच कस्मिंचित समटाइम्स इन सम प्लेस दीवा ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम नक्तम Naktam, o at night, yadrichaya, as it is available. <coughs> translation and purple, uh, translation. Sometimes I eat a very small quantity and sometimes a great quantity. Sometimes the food is very palatable and sometimes it is stale. Sometimes prasada is offered with great respect and sometimes. Food is given neglectfully. Sometimes I eat during the day and sometimes at night. Thus, I eat what is easily available. No purport, so we can read text number thirty-nine. To cover my body, I use whatever is available, whether it be linen, silk, cotton, bark, or deer skin, according to my Destiny, and I am fully satisfied and unagitated. Text forty. Kwachit chaye dharu pasthe trina parna sma bhasmasu kwachit prasa da paryanke kasi pawa parichaya. Sometimes I lie on the surface of the earth, sometimes on leaves, grass, or stone. Sometimes on a pile of ashes, or sometimes by the will of others, in a palace, on a first-class bed with pillows. Purport by Shila Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada ki. The learned Brahmana's description indicates different types of birth. 
for one lies down according to one's body. Sometimes one takes birth as an animal and sometimes as a king. When the, he takes birth as an animal, he must lie down on the ground. And when he takes birth and as a king or a very rich man, he is allowed to lie in the first class rooms in huge palaces decorated with beds and other furniture. Such facilities are not available, however, at the sweet will of the living entity. Rather, they are available by the supreme will Pritchaya or by the arrangements of Maya, as stated in Bhagavad Gita 1861. Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Hridesher Junatishtati Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani Yantra Yudhani Mayaya. The Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, O Arjuna, and is directing the wandering of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of the material energy. The living entity, according to his material desires, receives different types of bodies which are nothing but machines offered by material nature according to the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. By the will of the Supreme, one must take different bodies with different means for lying down. Chakshurun Mritam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Utapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathanditam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sakitam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vitam Sha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Ajanulambita Bujau Kanakavadatau Sankirtanai Kapitarau Kamalaya Takshau Vishwambaro Dvijavaro Yuga Dharma Palau Vande Jagat Priyakaro Karuna Vatarau Narayanam Naram Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayamudhirayat Nashta Prayesho Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavatu Tamashloki Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Yam Swanu Bhavamakilam Shutisara Mekam Adhyat Madi Pamatiti Tir Shatam Tamuntam Samsarinam Karunaya Hapurana Gukhyam Tam Vyasa Sun Mupayami Guru Muninam Mukham Karuti Vachalam Palgum Langa Yate Girim Tatkripatamaham Bande Shri Guru Dinatarini Vanchakal Patarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna First of all I would like to express my gratitude and good fortune to be in holy place with holy people to chant holy names on the holy day and in Vrindavan every day is holy obviously and uh, without blessings of Vaishnava it's very difficult to speak something about Krishna what to speak about to comment on Srimad Bhagavatam but what we can do as it is explained in Bhagavatam as a matter of duty whatever we heard we can just try to repeat and as it is said how far the bird can fly in the sky sky is, has no limit so we will do it as a duty to serve Vaishnavas and please kindly 
give you goodwill and blessings so we can speak few words. It's very, very important to understand uh, the meaning of the words, but usually the meaning of Shastra is not black and white. So this is when devotees are coming together, feeling ourselves completely unqualified. What devotees they do is actually sharing their realizations. That's what we do. It is explained in scriptures that when water taken from the simple well used to do Abhishek to Shaligram, Shila. So that water becomes worshipable as a Charinamrita. Though it's very simple village well. So similarly, even being unqualified and being not very much uh, profound in scriptures, even in significant person, we can just share some few words of our realization. And uh, thank all of you by giving us chance to sit on this very elevated position. So it is said that in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains in 13th chapter that Karanam Guna Sangasya Sat Asat Yuni Janmashu. So, living entity, Karanam Guna Sangasya, depends on the association taking birth in different species of life. And uh, as they say, Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, Punarapi Jatani, Jatareshainam, Dukkha Sansare, Pahe Murare. Until and unless living entity will raise the nose and eyes to see Supreme Personality of Godhead without blaming him for the sufferings he undergoes until in the heart of living entity devotion will not manifest an attraction to the lotus feet of the Lord living entity will never be able to understand the mystery of the suffering in this material world all the process is the process of elevation of consciousness there are five prime basic um, stages of the consciousness. First is Acharita Chetana. Acharita Chetana means unmanifested consciousness, very dull, like in stones and wood. Then Sankulita Chetana. So it's a uh, consciousness which is not um, manifesting the prime symptoms of unity with God. There are three levels of human consciousness which are Mukulita Chetana. Mukulita Chetana means um, it's like a bud of the flower. It is there, but it's just, just sitting inside. It's not yet manifested. Then uh, Vikashita Chetana. It starts to manifest and it's only partially manifested and it can be represented by the people, those who are in sufferings. Sometimes when they manifest, they say in Hindi, Dukme Sumiran Sobkare Sukme Karenakoi. In every language there is a statement when some thunderbolt will come or some troubles will come, when difficulties will come, then people come to the church or temple. When difficulties come, people start to pray to God. So it gets semi-manifested. And that uh, completely Purna Vikashita Chetana, it's completely manifested spiritual consciousness of living entity. So beauty of... Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's activities, that he, from zero, he took living entity from zero to hero. From unmanifested completely, Kalao Shudra Sambhavam, we, at least we just in dull position spiritually, to the manifested consciousness. I read in Srimad Bhagavatam in 11 Canto, nice um, example that uh, Living entity, when start to see Krishna everywhere, then it becomes free from sufferings. Developed consciousness means we start to see Krishna everywhere. Mai Pashyati Sarvatra. But how to see Krishna, how to develop those qualifications and how to unfold our consciousness where we can be completely Santushtak Satatam Yogi. In this text, it is explained that Sometimes we can go up, sometimes down, sometimes very small quantity eating, sometimes big quantity, etc. Sometimes we're eating, sometimes daytime, nighttime. But it is said that I was, he's saying, 
I was always satisfied and unagitated. Santushtak satatam yugi. One of the qualification of living entity, he has to be satisfied. Satisfaction is not something about the amount you have. Satisfied person is not the one who has everything. Satisfied person is the one who doesn't need anything. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasuchati Nakangshati Samak Sarveshu Bhuti Shumat Bhaktim Lapate Param He is not lamenting anything and he doesn't want anything. Just happy. It's not something to be imitated, really. I was really sharing one day, uh, one example was one devotee. Once I was in Hong Kong and we were presenting TOVP, TOVP project. Ambarish Prabhu requested us to present. It was like a Hindu economic conference and big, big people were there. And somehow or other we were able to speak there a little bit in Hindi. So one very rich businessman became really attracted. And he happened to be Diamond King. Diamond King. In Chimsasui Kaolung, that's big area, they selling the diamonds. He invited me to the big, big skyscraper on the top office. And we were sitting together just happened to be two of us and he took one glass and it was big tray of diamonds on the and uh, he just took one glass of diamonds and started to pour in another glass Pshhh. like this and I was just sitting relaxed in the big chair with huge windows and I just told him straight away are you trying to impress me so I would like to tell you from very beginning I'm not impressed and by the way, these stones is not your, are not yours, right? They belong to my father. And you're the thief. You've stolen them. So I'm not a beggar. I am tax collector. <laughs> you know, Prabhupada used to say, we are international beggars. So I said, I'm tax collector. So you thief, as, as Prabhupada also used to say, you know, when some thieves stolen the money from the bank and they came in the forest, and they sit down together and say, let's divide it honestly. <laughs> so this is honesty among the thieves. <coughs> so and uh, anyway, we, he was quite friendly and he was laughing. And I said, well, don't laugh, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what you have? What you have? Somehow other we can buy from you what you have. But what we have, you just can't buy. And I just make action. I stood up. And as if I'm moving, and I just started to move out from the office and about to close the door. But then I came back and said, see, I can go anywhere I want now. Like that, I just make action. I can go anywhere I want, you cannot. You have to sit in this diamond cage because you put yourself in this diamond cage. And he told me, he confessed, you know what, I'm so frustrated. I want to commit suicide jumping from this building. Seriously, as one of the big, big Hollywood stars in Los Angeles in Universal Studio, he said, I wish that everyone in this world should become extremely rich and famous like me to understand that this is not a solution. It's not a solution because we are running in the wrong direction and it is never, it is never late to take U-turn However late you are traveling in the wrong direction. It's never late. But for that, to understand that, we have to have vikashita chetana, if not purna vikashita. At least we have to open our mind because mind is like parachute. It's working when it's open. We have to accept the truth. And for that we have to become free from false ego. Very, very important. Nirmat saranam satam. But because, you know, as uh, His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu, he explains that there are three main obstacles in understanding the absolute truth. What is that? He says, three, I know that. I know that. Finish. We lock the door because our mind becomes like, you know, shrink in consciousness. We just locked ourselves from understanding the truth. And to able to accept the truth, we have to become free from envy. And Krishna explains in 11 Canto Bhagavatam, it's interesting. Very often we are listening Bhagavatam class and we're just trying to copy paste some nice funny stories and different different examples. Okay, I'll use these examples in my pravachan to my congregation or somewhere. When I'll be giving class somewhere, I'll be using that story. Little less we can understand that this story for us. 
just for me personally. Krishna explains in Bhagavatam to Udhava that to conquer this envy, this uh, disease of material existence, which takes us punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. He said the best sadhana is to see me in the heart of each and every living entity. And we can become free from envy on different levels. Right? Envy on the level with seniors, we envy, envious of them. Why he has that? Why he has that? I remember when I joined Krishna consciousness many, many years ago in Russia. And I used to come see when spiritual masters used to come. And uh, I remember uh, my spiritual master, he used to be in Moscow. And then next day he was traveling to Vladivostok, then Mongolia. And then I w that time I was thinking, wow, so lucky traveling all over the world for free using donations what kind of people are huh? so nice traveling but later on less I understood how tough and difficult it is right it takes one to understand one years later when we traveling now all over the world you understand how difficult it is to change all the time and nothing ages the man as traveling as Chanakya Pandit says very difficult this envy can be manifested in envy of others, of seniors. We, envy with equals manifest with rivalry, fighting. New fight, new, new fight. We always fight, fight, fight. And that's new fight. And uh, with juniors, we're always trying to humiliate and put them down. What do you understand? No. Srila Prabhupada said, every devotee is my Shiksha Guru. Shiva Bhaktan Saraswati has sent all of you to help me in my mission. In fact, in Bihar, I would like to share one, one story came to my mind. In Bihar, in India, it was Bahadur Singh, one king. It's a real story. And um, he has many ministers, he had many ministers, and the ministers, they were always envious of sadhus. It was one ashram, sannyasi ashram in Bihar. And they were always complaining, this sadhus doing nothing. They're just doing nothing. Sitting, eating feasts, dancing, chanting, and just doing nothing. Escapists. Escapists. What are you doing? Right? And they complain, putting. <laughs> in Hindi, you know this, in Hindi calls this quarrel called kitch, 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 kitch. In Hindi they call it like that. Kitch, 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 kitch. Before, and I was telling that kitchen. You know, in Sanskrit called rasoi, rasoi. In Hindi also they call rasoi, ras. They're making some preparations, ras, which different, different rasas. So it's called rasoi. But now it became kitchen. Why? Because whenever daughter-in-law and mother-in-law comes to me, kitch, 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 it becomes <laughs> become kitchen. <laughs> no. People fighting, fighting, new fight, new, new fight. Always fight, fight. Kitchri. <laughs> so I see it's... Uh, very, is it not? Very familiar. Uh, left and right, whenever you go, everywhere, kitchen. <laughs> so, but what we need, we need ras. Raso vaisaha. Actually, this is our nature. Isn't it? Everybody wants rasa. And Krishna has the rasas with each and every living entity. That's why I was giving an example with the flute. When you're playing flute, our acharyas I explained, <clears throat> to produce the sound by one mouth, you can make only one sound. Right? But when you're making the same endeavor, same endeavor, and playing through the holes of flute with many, many holes, you can produce literally, literally unlimited sounds. Similarly, when you're serving along, being super, pooper, duper on the top, somewhere, or somewhere, prithak bhavam, separatist mentality, you cannot produce much rasa for Krishna. But our acharyas explain that when you're doing the same endeavor together, and this whole represents devotees by manipulating devotees, you know, together. We can produce unlimited rasas to Krishna, for Krishna, for his enjoyment. But it takes freedom from envy to work together. Isn't it? I remember it was here only, big, big um, marble plate, Prabhupada's statement that you can please me. We heard that story, you know, that you can please me by... How you can show your love by how you're cooperating together after my departure. It's very, very important. You know that story, how it happened? One devotee, one Prabhupada was leaving body here 
one young new devotee came and said, Srila Prabhupada, I cannot see how you are suffering. According to Srimad Bhagavatam, San Puru, he took old age from his father. And uh, to make sure that his father is very, very young and he can continue his life, fresh life. Can I take your old age and let me die and suffer and you become young and continue to translate Srimad Bhagavatam? And Srila Prabhupada just noticed, yes, it's good sentiment, but that's not what I want, no need. That was first part. And second part, that statement, your real love to me will be un shown to me by showing me how you can cooperate together after my departure. This is real love. And that's why team, team. Team means together everyone achieves more. Team. And that's spiritual family, Prabhupada said the family. And uh, in English they say family means father and mother, I love you, right? So our father and mother, Tumeva Mata Chapita, Tumeva Saramama Deva Deva. Tisham Brahma Mahadyonir Aham Bijak Pradak Pita. So he is a father. Krishna and Radha, our mother. Krishna is our father. And Krishna and Radha, Supreme Lord, is very happy when he can see that devotee can cooperate in any circumstances. It's very nice to be Krishna conscious when the sun is shining. Isn't it? Haribol and prasadam and time and everything. Dancing and wonderful Chopan Bhog and Raj Bhog and wonderful association. But what will happen when uh, waves of inconveniences and disease will strike us? Most of the people thinking, no, it's not for me. But believe me, everyone's, as Vijay Prabhu was saying, many people checking out now in hospice. Many people coming down the line and uh, last stage as sure as death for everyone. And at the, at, the, at the end of the day, we will not have a bunch of Bhagavatam shlokas and uh, different, different degrees and Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaibhava. What we have, we have each other. We have the team of devotees, those who were able to manifest amongst each other Priti Lakshanam, Sadvidi Priti Lakshanam. And those who have the Priti Lakshana, Priti Seva Purvakam, Krishna will give intelligence how to come to Him. Right? And uh, one shloka I was, when I was just looking into this um, Bhagavatam texts, it reminded me one shloka from Srimad ba uh, Bhagavad Gita. It is 4.22. Yadricha labha santushto Yadricha, no? it's same thing here. In 88. No? Divan naktam yadrichaya. Yadrichaya means whatever comes on its own accord. Right? Devotee doesn't make much, much endeavor to achieve things. Whatever comes. Tasyaiva hetu prayatitta kovido. Intelligent man, tasyaiva hetu, Bhagavatam explains, he is aiming, targeting for such a goal, which is not available. Huh. Upari adhaha, he says, from top planet to the bottom. Nandalabhyate sukhavat anyatha dukham kalena sarvatra gambira rambasa. It will come and go its own accord. Happiness and distress, good, bad, it will come. Narayanak parakh sarvena kutaschana bibhyate swarga pavarga narakesha pi tulyartha darshina. Tulyartha darshina. So that's why same. But envious people, they want a better condition for themselves. So, and it's explained that who, who is satisfied with the gain which come on its own accord, who is free from duality and does not envy, who is steady in both success and failure, is never entangled, although performing action. He is particularly explaining this, free from envy also. Very beautiful commentary. I will recommend everybody go through this as a homework. So these ministers, they became very envious. And they complain about the sadhus in ashram. Hey, Maharaj, this is such a people nonsense. So king, he said, he went to the Mahant, temple president of that ashram. And uh, he said, what to do, Maharaj? How to? And that Mahant, he said, okay, don't worry, Maharaj. Let's do an experiment. I'll come to you tomorrow, three o'clock morning, just before Mangalarati. And you can be with me, okay? Let's go together. Sure enough, next morning, king, you know, 
he welcomed the priest Mahant and they went together to the ministers. Where are you taking me? Let's go to the ministers. And they went to the rooms of the ministers. Okay? And uh, he took the kamandalu and started to sprinkle the water of the sleeping, on the sleeping ministers. And they woke up and started to I mean, criticize so bad words. Hey, rascals, who is doing that? Very bad words started to go. Who woke me up so early, you know? Started to speak very bad words. Then they went to the, some um, horse keepers and cow, goshala, you know, some people, laborers. Also they sprinkle. And everybody, sure enough, started to woke up with bad words and criticizing. What is this nonsense? And just bad wording there. But then said, let's go to ashram. They came, ashram. Brahmacharya ashram and they started to sprinkle the water and as soon as the water reached the face of the sadhu oh, Krishna 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 oh Krishna 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 oh, Mangarati Krishna 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 everybody started to woke up and the uh, minister is uh, Mahan said can you see the difference both of them they have perhaps also you know nowadays even ministers they put in tikka and even wearing some kind of religious attributes but it n doesn't make the devotion by putting tilak, right? So what actually happens when you will be woken up unexpectedly? Krishna, 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 Krishna. Because it comes automatically. What is inside will come outside. Whatever, you know that very famous story of the German spy who was not able to be detected, you know, in, London, in England. And so many forces were dying of Russian armies and, you know, but then they could not know how to find out that spy who was actually in, what's called injected there in that uh, forces long, long before. German army, they injected the spies 30 years before even war started. But then one very junior officer, and amazingly enough, millions of forces were dying, you know. And they found that some spy inside our headquarter. And they appointed the same very spy to become in charge of research how to find where is that spy and this very same spy said yes yes sir I'll find and he was prolonging and month and month goes by millions of people dying and this guy cannot find any spy because he is himself a spy and then one junior officer new Bhakta officer new completely officer he just detected something wrong with this guy and he found but he cannot say anything to anyone so what he did what he did he just called to the old headquarter officer camp and said I found a spy who who is he and he came to the same very spy and said I found a spy where is he come to my office I'll show you he's there really let's go and this junior officer called him to his office. Meanwhile, he told to all the officer uh, rank, all the members of the headquarters to assemble in his office. And he called the spy and while he was entering, he slammed the door and his fingers happened to become in the, you know, edge of the doors. And he started to speak in German language. Straight away, he killed him, right away, in front of everyone. Emergency. There is no high court, sit down, let's just do something, let's just, it's war. And Srila Prabhupada mentioned, actually, we sometimes taking lightly, but Prabhupada very often he writes, you know, camp, we declare the war with mines, you know, we're like, books are bombs and magazines like bullets. It's very difficult sometimes to be in the battlefield. So it's very, very important to understand that we have to become very, very, very much uh, truthful to ourselves. And uh, free from envy. There is one saying also that um, how we can see the situation. One thing came to my mind. Very often we think we are perfect and when we join Krishna consciousness, we were so nice, but when in Krishna consciousness, so many things happen and, you know, we start to see ourselves so bad, so many bad qualities manifesting in us. Have you had experience? Yeah. That you feel yourself, you know, of course it's not for the public Sunday program lecture, but it is explained. Um, 
I forgot the name of the book. It's like Bhakti Sudhadaya. Adi Purush Prabhu, he was mentioning in his uh, retreat seminar. Our Adi Purush Prabhu. He said that Prahlad Maharaj, he says, when somebody entering Krishna consciousness process, his mountains become manifested like mountains. I mean, his sins become manifested, magnified, because purification process starts. And we start to see everything coming out, especially when you're doing this anarthanivritti process. So many things coming up. And people become frightened and they run away. But they miss the point, actually. This is the process. As Rupa Goswami, he says, when God will put you on the, what's it called, uh, iron myth, boom, ting, ting, boom, ting, ting. you know, they're putting this iron, putting in hot, cold, hot, and then they're trying to deform it with the armor. When God will put you on the um, working place of the start and start to work on you with armor, don't cry. That's what you were praying for, right? God, purify me, please. Oh, really? Okay. And to see Krishna everywhere is not always Chris see Krishna in very good times, but to see him in bad times as well. And that's the secret. I was speaking with Sri Pralat Prabhu in Mayapur and said, this is the secret. This is the secret of spiritual life. If you simply accept the fact that nothing happens in our life without Krishna's will, okay, and uh, Right? Krishna says, all this material nature working in the my direction. And uh, in Brahma Samhita it explained that Maya as a shadow stands behind Krishna. Whenever body moves, shadow moves with him. So without Krishna's movement, Maya will not do anything to us. So if anything happens to us, even bad and good things, well, thank you. We have to continue to surrender our mind, body and speech. Continue, push, push through. Never leave. Because failure is not fatal and success is not final. It's courage to continue. That counts. Continue failure after failure without losing enthusiasm. That's Churchill used to say. That's why to be enthusiastic in Krishna consciousness and push Push means pray until something happens. So you have to push. And you cannot push along. You can do it only with devotees. Yagya Sankirtana Pragay. Along is insane. Nobody can do that. And to be with devotee for a long time, not like shooting star. We have seen many shooting stars. Came, manifested, and then left. Not like that. We have to become pakka. It doesn't need to have big, big super services in necessary. No. We simply have to be satisfied with whatever little service we got. We have to be satisfied with whatever association we got. We have to be grateful. And if we are not grateful, as we know, we are grateful. We have to be satisfied. Because in this material world, and if we are not satisfied with whatever service we were given, and we expecting something more because I did so many degrees and I did so many things and I'm not ready to go and clean the toilet well it seems like something wrong with us in the same very commentary Srila Prabhupada, very nice commentary Prabhupada writes he's, I would like to read you one line which I really like he said um, however for the service of, of the Lord he can participate in any kind of action without being disturbed <laughs> by the duality of the material world. You see? Devotee is independent in his livelihood. He does not allow anyone's, anyone's service to hamper his own service in Krishna consciousness. However, for the service of the Lord, he can participate in any kind of action without being disturbed by the duality of material world. Any kind of service. Prabhupada said, do needful. Whatever has to be done, do it. It's not necessary you have to become only on the top, no. If necessary to clean the toilet or do some book distribution or I have to become temple president or I have to do anything, I will do it. Because we are servants here, we are hosts. So many people coming outside and whatever has to be done has to be done when it has to be done. There is one statement I like very much of the former president of US, United States, and sta uh, States. There is nothing impossible for the group of people for whom does not matter who will take the credit. There is nothing impossible 
for the group of people for whom does not matter who will take the credit doesn't matter that's power of unity if you are close to the gates and put goal <coughs> that ball has to be given to you hurry ball so they have ball we have also ball hurry ball so anyone who can do service better than me let him do it that's spiritual world if Ra Krishna likes garland to be accepted from the hands of Radharani I'll do mala but I'll give it in the hands of Radharani let Krishna be happy more it's not like I have to be in front so it's very very important to cultivate that quality freedom from envy and that requires strength if we are satisfied with little service we were given and we continue 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 same service for years and years that's pleasing to Krishna really once I remember Srila Prabhupada used to say in Radha Damodar temple one old lady used to come and bring one bucket of water every morning for Shishi Radha Damodar from Yamuna every morning and after many many years she didn't come and Prabhupada said she left back to God that's it it cannot happen that she she didn't come it must be she left and she did left left so in spiritual world we should not see that somebody better than me when I am so worse low self-esteem no when Pandavas they were going this you no know, final journey to Himalayas <coughs> to Barika Ashram Vasudhara Chakrapantha they went and uh, nobody believes that they will fall down hmm neither Bhima nor Arjuna no and when Arjuna fall down he couldn't go like oh no one by one you know that's a separate story they started to drop drop one but they never believed that they would do it and who left and reached the top dog I may be Arjuna or Bhima but actually I can be behind and only dog will be in front we never know so that's why we should never ever criticize devotees also freedom from criticism in the fifth shloka of nectar of instructions Patishamrita said we have to look, Rupa Goswami explains, we have to look for association of, of, with devotees who are those who are free from tendency to criticize others. Very important. Not by words, mind and what to speak about actions. We have to become solid in our devotional service. I remember when I was in Gurukula Bhaktivita Purna Maharaj in Mayapur, one time Prasadam distribution was there and all small children were sitting like this. And uh, one small boy going and dropping some chapatis. And one boy got one chapati, another one got two chapatis. And one boy said, Mmm, he got two chapatis, I got only one chapati. And Maharaj, Gurukul Maharaj said, Shut up. Look down and look at your place. Look at your plate. Because to look somebody else's plate is business of Shudra. Be happy whatever you have got. Don't try to look there in here. You know, very, very important. We have to be satisfied with whatever Kalena Sarvatra Gambira Rambasa, whatever we have got, we have to be happy with that. Instead, some people can criticize why you so slow, why you so slow. No, we have to see how much Krishna, Krishna, Krishna manifests from our heart. You know, Taj Mahal in Gang Agra, when they were constructing Taj Mahal, they called all the most professional uh, workers, mysteries. And one particular mystery, he was given the task to mix the cement, masala. And that in charge, he was looking and he was pushing everyone, quickly, 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 work, work. But this particular mystery, he was sitting one day, two days, three days, mixing the cement. Mixing, mixing. So much so that this in charge became so angry and he chastised him. What nonsense are you doing? And that mystery also became angry and he threw this cement part of the cement in, in this in charge and this in charge boss he just was clever enough he ran away and the cement stuck to the wall so much so that even till now nobody can take it out from there they were trying to take it out nobody can take it out thoroughly mixed and permanently set krishna consciousness like that we know as uh, his grace indra prabhu used to say don't go too fast go deep this is the time we have to go really deep and deep means you know deep in devotional service deep in relationships because we can have a wall like this full of bricks 
But if there is no masala in between, you can push it when difficult times comes, and it will come, sure, it will come. It's not may or may not be, it definitely come. And when challenge will come, all the bricks will prrr, scatter. Unless until we have this kind of strong masala. As we always say, if we have relationships and loving exchange, it doesn't matter we are where we are. It doesn't matter what lovers are talking about as long as they are together. Isn't it? They say in material world, as long as lovers are together, it doesn't matter where are they. Where is uh, Ram, there is Ayodhya. We can go to forest even. We can take any kind of challenges as long as we have brotherhood. And I will conclude with actually a wonderful example of Srila Prabhupada. There is one story. One businessman came to Nagaland, like jungle was only four aborigines were there. And he was cloth merchant. He came with a cloth and he saw people all naked, you know, all this running around. Hey, useless people, they're not using the cloth. They are not using the cloth. So what is the use of selling the cloth here? So he picked up all the bunch of cloth and left. Amazingly enough, after some time, another businessman came with a bunch of cloth. And he saw everybody naked. Oh no, what to do? All oh, right. So he told to his assistant, you do one thing. You distribute the cloth for free. Just distribute it. Never ask anything from them. Just let them use it. And he distributed. And all village started to use the cloth. And after some time they became addicted to cloth. And they found the need. Oh, I need more cloth. Because it's comfortable, it's useful. He created the need for cloth. And then people start to demand an order. Okay, can you give me more cloth? More cloth. And he generated his business. And he became very, very, very rich. Because people started to buy more cloth for him. Because they found the need in cloth. He changed the culture. So similarly, one devotee was telling, in the West, everybody wear spiritually naked. Spiritually naked, no cloth. Prabhupada went, went and as His Grace Vijay, Vijay Prabhu was saying other day, Prabhupada spoon, spoon fed Krishna consciousness in the mouth of hippies and you know, all the degraded people. Spoon fed, completely. And then people became slowly, slowly dressed up in Krishna consciousness, Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaibhava, so many kavachas. We found understand that, wow, we needed more. Swadu, swadu, pade, pade. And now we became, and he created the market all over the world. Now here we are sitting from countries, Mlecha countries, those who not even knew about Krishna, forget about Krishna. Till 20 years, I never even heard name Krishna personally. But Prabhupada, gave us the faith Shraddhanu Sari Bhakti Adhikari that by chanting holy name even dog eater can become sit here and give class Aho Bataswa Pachato Gariyam Yamji Vagrivar Tatina Matubhyam those who chanting holy name and that Shastriya Shraddha not Kamala Shraddha Shastriya Shraddha Sukhrida Nishchai Krishna Bhakti Kaile Sarva Karma Krita Hoi if you have that faith that determine your advancement. And uh, in our case, when uh, Srila Prabhupada sent Srila Prabhupada Vishnu Maharaj to Nepal and told him, you have to go and create strong hold of Krishna consciousness. And I was meditating what it could be, hold. And we came up with that wonderful acronym. Hold means home of love and devotion. And that only not for Nepal, it's for all world. We have to create strong home of love and devotion of devotees. Those who can stay together, pray together, dance together, and advance together. And uh, I would like to conclude with one nice poem. We wrote to Srila Prabhupada one poem. And I will take this wonderful opportunity to offer this poem in Vrindavan, in holy place, to his lotus feet. How many of you drank the milk of lion, lioness? I was asking one devotee yesterday. Have you, have you, did you drink the milk of lioness in America and Europe maybe? Prabhuji, what do you think? Have you ever get chance? No? Lioness feeding the milk, cubs. And lioness milk, very, very rare. Like poison of the snake used for the medical industry, for the producing some medicine. Similarly, small quantity of lioness milk, like acid, it used to create some rasayanas in different medicine. Lioness. Lion. 
But to contain that milk, you, you have to have golden pot. Golden pot. With permission of government, you can get extract, you can make lioness to sleep, and they're taking little quantity only. But you have to keep that milk in a golden pot. Any other pot will be dissolved by strength of that milk, it is said. So similarly, the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Singha Chaitanya. Singha Chaitanya. Chest like lion, you know, in Mahavadanya. Like waterfall of mercy. But to get that bhakti in our heart, as Rupa Goswami says, hearts of devotees should be golden like hearts. Golden heart. Otherwise, that power of bhakti will be dissolved. We will be dissolved by the power of that bhakti. Madanakya Mahabhav. So, but Srila Prabhupada had that heart, like golden heart. And he had that bhakti given to him by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was able to sprinkle this bhakti all over the world. So in that way we became inspired by that analogy and we wrote one small poem which I would like to share with you. Should I? Bhakti resided in your heart like the nectar in the golden pot. You were very kind and smart to spread the love of God. Through angry ocean had to cross two times got heart attack so personally supreme lord your pot had to protect so even single drop of nectar may never outspill an ocean calm became and still by lord Shri krishna's will by distributing nectar wide you relieved the earth from the pain you saved so many fallen souls who were living lives in vain. You helped us, Lord Govinda, meet. To you is our tribute. Let planet Earth embrace your feet and offer you salute. Shila Prabhupada ki, Grantarat Shimad Bhagavatam ki, Iskon family ki, Itai Gaurapremanande.